everybody. Welcome back. This is Excel Video 249. I helped a group in Texas today manage some outside data they were getting from a pathology group that was coming in kind of a different format. They needed to be able to sort and filter and manage it. We were able to do that with tables and it made life a lot easier. When you're ready to make data that comes from outside your practice a lot more user friendly, let's talk. We're going to play some more with tabs today. I've added a couple more tabs that we can play with, but let's say I've got the dashboard tab and what I want to do is pull data from a variety of supplementary tabs and spreadsheets and kind of display it all in one place on my dashboard. So the way to get formulas to work between tabs is to type the equal sign and then go over to the tab you want. We'll go to data first. We'll highlight that cell and hit return. And notice what Excel is doing for me. It's I've got the equals sign and then the name of the tab is data and then I've got the exclamation mark or the bang and then the cell location. We can do that. Let's do that again from the test tab. Equals test and this one's in A1 as well and hit return. So equals the name of the tab, you get the exclamation point and then the cell. And you could type equals test A1 and do the same thing. I typically just arrow around so that I don't have to worry about typing all that kind of stuff, but it works either way. Here's the catch. If you go over to equals and you try to do name with spaces, and this tab is called name with spaces, watch what Excel has to do because the tab name has spaces. It puts quotes, single quotes, around name with spaces so that it encapsulates all of this and treats it all as one long name. Whereas in here, we never had to put the name of the tab in quotes. Here we do, and the reason is because name with spaces has spaces in the tab name. So typically, if I'm going to create a dashboard, and I know I'm going to want data from multiple tabs, typically I'll do data names like data or test as opposed to name with spaces just because it makes my dashboard a little bit easier. I don't have to deal with single quotes. Let's come over here and we'll do the same logic from an outside spreadsheet. All of this stuff here was in tabs from an existing spreadsheet. If I go and want to get something from an outside spreadsheet, let's do this one. So I'm going to do equals. I'm going to bring up a spreadsheet here called tables and I want, we'll just pull Cigna there. You can see the formula that Excel creates on your way. And I'm going to hit enter and come back over here. Notice how my formula is different. Sheet one is the name of the tab in my spreadsheet called tables. So here's sheet one and here's Cigna where I grabbed it. If I come back over here. So sheet one is my tab. The spreadsheet name goes in these brackets. Equals bracket tables.xls is the name of my spreadsheet bracket. And then the tab name and then the cell location. And again, could I type all that in? Yeah, but when I need it, typically what I'll do is I'll just go equals and point to it. Let's do another one. Equals. I've got another spreadsheet called Excel Basics 2 that we were using when we were adding and deleting columns. You remember that? Let's pull G4 out of there. Look how much harder it is to deal with a spreadsheet with spaces in the names and a spreadsheet with spaces in the tabs. It works, but outside those square brackets that we're used to, I need uh, the, the single quote and then I just put a quote all the way at the end because both the name of the spreadsheet and the name of the tab in that workbook both have spaces. We just put the whole thing in single quotes. That's the game. And does it kill you to have spaces in tabs? No. You just have to put it in single quotes. And a lot of my tabs I'll typically do without spaces, but a lot of spreadsheet names I'll put the spaces in, make them more readable, and when I need to use it I'll use the single quotes. But that's the trick to get data between tabs and between spreadsheets all to show up in one place. One caveat to the whole thing. If you take this spreadsheet and it's all fine and good on your desktop PC and then you put it on your laptop and run, you may have a hard time finding this Excel Basics 2 spreadsheet out there on your laptop in the same place it was in your desktop. And when Excel goes to open, looks for this link and tries to find G4, it may give you an error message saying, hey, I can't find Excel Basics 2.xlsx. Tell me where it is. And so a lot of times, if I know I'm going to be moving a spreadsheet from place to place to place, I will put the data I need on tabs so I know it's all in one place and I don't have to worry about breaking links between out, outlying spreadsheets, spreadsheets outside of where my initial data is stored. That's what I wanted to show you about getting data between tabs. Stay tuned. There's more tabs, tricks. We'll talk about those next time. Thanks for watching.